Radio. Sorry, hotel owners, we couldn't help but trespass. Housekeeping! <laughs> <laughs> Entrance to historic rooms. Oh, that lighthouse? You can climb up inside of it to the top. Yeah, I think we should do it. Yeah, Ben, you can open the door. Go up there, I went up there. Oh, is that just a barbecue? I thought that was going to be an octobar or something. Got back control over my camera. There's another one there. An octub. That's a bit deep for an octub. <laughs> this is the bar area. It might be someone's house, but looks more like a bar. Have a look what's in here. Toilet. And this is a view from inside the lighthouse. Let's have a look. See the rest of the hotel. <laughs> okay now. Now we we'll go down this nice spiral staircase. Oh god, it's sickly, it's bad in that case. Right. It smells here. It goes into the basement, but we're not going to look at that just yet. This is one of the bedrooms. Oh, I'm just falling down that bloody gap. There are the toilets. <coughs> Captain Cook. So they named the hotel rooms after, after like... C names, uh, this is the style of this room, TV, wardrobe and stuff. Cunningham, another style of room and we've all got these historic, we've got something which is historic in them, each room. So it's like a sitting area in the corridor, it's called the library. It's got loads of books. And there they've got something hooked up. Let's keep walking round. Crew office. And in the crew office. 
Vancouver office. There's a server rack, lots of cleaning supplies, fuses, a generator. Like computers and stuff to manage bookings. Engine room key, padlock key. This is this is the key safe full of all the keys to all the different areas. Let's leave that room now. Fridge with beverages in it. This next tunnel, now this is the first tunnel we're going to be looking at, it's a plumbing tunnel. So it goes right the way down. It's literally got plumbing in it, all wastewaters and everything. Goes down here. Okay, let's have, have a quick walk round it. See how far we can get in the pipe work tunnel. So, no. This tunnel goes deeper. This is a staff only room, let's see where it goes. It goes into the back alley. It's cleaning equipment and stuff. And extra chairs. We open the door. We'll continue down the tunnels. This is like an entertainment boom. Continue. We get a red room here. And there we've got another. Weird room, which is like a beverage room, but all of the bottles are actually dummy bottles, they're not actually in use. We've got a uh, poker table. I don't know what that is. It's a vintage game of some sort. Oh, this is like um. For now, it's inside here. Storage room. We'll go down here. That leads back outside. That says crew only. That means we've got to take a little sneak peek. Let's have a look what's in here. CCTV in operation. In here. Okay, it's just literally gone room. Oh, that sounds like a good room. Ah, so this is there's like a room with a bed in it, Ben. Have you seen this room with bed in it? What's that? Is that like a waste system? Oh, this is what Ben was trying to show us. Yeah, it's, sewage, it's a sewage tank. Don't place it. The power's not available. <laughs> like, so there's, there's strict laws on how much human waste you're allowed to release into the ocean, isn't there? Is that it, really? Yeah. So all your shit and stuff is in that. 
Yeah, because that's where it goes. Crew cabin three. Crew cabin three. What's in there? No, in the shower. It all smells a bit grubby in here. Do you think the I would assume that's because the ventilation isn't on. Yeah. I was gonna say, I hope we're not. Sorry. I hope we're not. Um. I hope we're not. Like selling it as an hotel, smelling that like this, because it's another crew cabin. No, nah, it's back on ourselves to this room. It's locked. It's just starving. It's just full of rubbish. That's that basement we've just been exploring. This is the like a little weird seating area, and then in here, there's another creepy tunnel. So this is a pantry, and it has that proper vintage smell as well. Does this these rooms, like? I don't know what it is, but old things always smell like really oily, and that's what smell you get from this, these rooms. So you've got a code lock door there, and a staff only door there. In here, boots. You can tell they are trying to preserve the history. And then down there, leads into the bolt, bolt hole. Let's have a look in the bolt hole. So that's going down. And it is literally just a tunnel goes all the way around the outside. So this is the dining rooms. Open the door. Oh wow. got a piano in here, it's a bit in bad shape, but those keys are damaged. Uh, you've got a really old vintage phone. You put your receiver up, put that to your ear. Blah 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 blah. Yep, that's it. And as you can see, it's on a switch, so it hangs up when it goes down. Let's have a look what else is in here. Other old relics. Got a record. Got a chess. We've got another room. Vintage stuff in here. Oh, we've got one in here as well, where the quest speeds. Yeah, I, I think the extractor fans and stuff will be running so you won't yeah, smell I mean, that. Because surely that's where they don't have it so smelling like that. Fucking propellers above me while I'm fucking eating my food. <laughs> <laughs> what was in it? Oh, fuck, I thought. <laughs> We've got like a little treat bag in there. Uh, a little peek on that. Coming soon! at the next fort it's, but it's abandoned it's time and it's got a brand new lock but that won't defeat us so now it's time for me to climb up the nutcase ladder so here's what we've got up on the first level of the observation tower got another weird device again 